Hey, thank you everyone for joining us today. Uh, we're gonna run through a quick demonstration of the residential design tools in Aurora. Uh, we'll move a little quickly, just I know everyone's got many appointments uh, for the show, uh, but if you do have questions when we wrap up, the whole team will be here to, uh, to go through those with you, all right? So without further ado, let's start the show. So you probably know this already, Aurora is a complete design tool uh, for resi and commercial. We're cloud-based. Uh, this is our dashboard. When you jump in each day, you're going to see all your projects, project name, where it's located, address, coordinates, customers. Uh, we have a huge database of everything you're going to need to design and model with. So that includes over 10,000 different components, uh, PV modules, power optimizers, inverters. Uh, you also have local, national incentives in your database. Just about every utility company in North America, every rate plan uh, preloaded into Aurora so you can model. Uh, we can add to these anytime you need them. If you need to add components, if you need to add rate plans, incentives, even company level incentives, maybe you're doing like first responder discounts, something like that, you can add those in there. Uh, we can financial model any solution for your customer so you can save all the loans you offer, leases, power purchase agreements, those all rest in your database. So we're going in to create our first project here. We can enter lat long coordinates or an address to get to our site. We've got our customer contact details. We can edit their tax rates as well. Uh, next, we'll move forward to enter our consumption data. Uh, we have a number of ways to enter consumption data. We'll see that on the next screen. We can either upload interval data if we have that, which you see right here. Uh, we can accept green button XML format or CSV. You can manually enter everything, or in the United States, we can enter the data we have and Aurora will estimate the usage for the rest of the year. So here we're selecting one of those rate plans from our database. We can select a different post-solar rate plan. Let's say we want to take a customer from a tiered rate plan buying from the utility to a time of use rate plan with the solar system, we can model that. We can enter whatever utility rate escalator that we'd like. And we'll go ahead and enter our usage either as kilowatt hour usage or as a dollar amount they're spending. So sometimes a customer may not have all their bills. Whatever input we're getting, we can fill in the blanks here. The more data points you have, the more accurate it's going to be. But even off one data point, one month of usage, we're going to get a very accurate uh, estimate here of how they use power throughout the year. We also have hourly load profile tools. So whether your customer's running a pool pump, air conditioning, maybe they have an electric vehicle, they're charging at night off peak, we can take that into account and that's going to be really helpful, particularly for your customers on time of use rate plans. We can make these changes, we can export all of this, throw it into a spreadsheet, share it with our customer, whatever we would like to do. But this is great for today. We've got a great consumption profile we can start designing. Now we do have a 3D modeling service available. If you get real busy and you want us to design your sites for you, we can do that. Happy to talk more about that with you offline. Uh, for today, we'll just name our project uh, and we'll, we'll fly in overhead. So we have a few image options. This is coming to us through Google HD. We've got a great partnership with Google. So this comes to you in Aurora out of the box. You're also gonna have a near map integration here. You can purchase near map imagery as needed, one off through Aurora. You also have Bing imagery and uh, standard Google satellite. First thing we do is draw out the roof. We'll place a point at each corner and just quickly trace the perimeter. You'll see that orange line pop up every time we're gonna make a turn. That helps keep us to a crisp 90 degree turn every time we're making that angle. And as soon as we finish tracing the house, Aurora's gonna go ahead and create all those interior angles for us. We can unpitch any faces we'd like. We can add other roof features, any types of folds, dormers, and you see our preliminary 3D model coming along. We can edit this and we can bring in our LiDAR data to make this very precisely sized. You'll see us adding a dormer up front there and as soon as we do that, we'll merge it to the roof and you'll see yellow lines pop up. Those are our code setbacks. Now, you can set those up ahead of time by jurisdiction or you can edit them on the fly in a project. We're adding an obstruction here and you'll see as we do that, we even get the code setback on that obstruction and we're gonna go ahead and draw in some of these vents. We can move very quickly to uh, model these obstructions on the roof while using Aurora. And as soon as we do this, we'll be able to run our radiance and get a very accurate, in fact, the most accurate reading of uh, the energy potential on that roof. Put in a few trees here. And there we go, our 3D model's coming along. And this looks great, these type of visuals you don't have to design in front of your customer, but if you choose to, 
this type of thing really connects with your customer. This is the LiDAR data I mentioned. So we have LiDAR data from a number of sources. It's essentially like having surveys from the air done by firing lasers at the ground, measuring how they bounce back. So we have a 3D model of the site without you or I actually having to visit, and we can automatically size our building to match that LiDAR data. We can also use the LiDAR data to size all our obstructions, whether it's chimneys, trees, make sure they're shaped properly to get a true-to-life 3D model of that site without having to drive out there, get on the roof, use a solar metric sun eye, none of that. When we do this, Aurora's shading analysis has been certified by Enroll to be as accurate as on-site measurements with a solar metric sun eye. We have more imagery options here as well, so we can do that nice 45 degree fly around, we can drop into Street View in Aurora, all without leaving the app, to get more information about our site. Maybe you want to check the roof type or see that the roof line is consistent all the way around the house. We can also do measurements from Street View. So, We've got a ruler tool, we can measure height, we can measure slope with that. I usually use the LiDAR data, it's so much faster, um, but you have those tools there if you'd like to use them. And again, we can shape our trees, you're not you know, locked into one sort of standard shape for your obstructions. We can model it true to life. And now we run the irradiance. You get this great sun path animation. When we run irradiance, we're checking 365 days of sun path and 40 years of weather data. You see the irradiance map on the roof, Everywhere we bring our cursor now, we'll be able to see a radiance, tilt and orientation factor. So let's add some panels. We have a few options now. We can go in and select fill roof face and Aurora will max out the roof face we've selected, avoiding all those obstructions and those code setbacks. Once we have panels on the roof, it's really like playing with Legos. You can move these anywhere you'd like to. Uh, you, if you move them to another side of the roof, they're automatically going to match the slope of that roof. Um, very easy to make adjustments and edits once you have panels up. You can also custom draw in panels on your, your residential design. We'll see that here. We're just drawing these panels in. Again, we can double click on a panel to do mixed panel orientation. Uh, we can make edits, anything we want to do, move it to another side of the roof. Very, very simple. And once we have those panels up there, we have a few options in terms of running our production simulation. I could do it now. I could also use an auto designer if I wanted to and just set a target for a bill offset or energy offset and have Aurora design it for me. I would just select components. But we'll use our auto stringer for today. We'll select our inverter and we'll ask Aurora to string this system for me. Again, you can manually string if you want to. Uh, my background is sales, I always use the auto stringer. I find it really helps speed up the whole process here. So we've got it strung, I could move the inverter. I could add other balance of system components if I'd like to. And once we have the system strong, we'll be able to use that Aurora uh, production simulation engine. So this is an example of the manual stringing. Very easy, very easy. It's just like connecting the dots, as you see. And here we go, we're gonna do our production sim. We can expand this and we're gonna get our seasonally adjusted production and consumption. If we look below, you'll see where you're getting any losses due to tilt and orientation factor, DCAC conversions. I can switch and take the utility bill view. So now I'm seeing the amount of the bill I've offset. If I wanted to do different rate plan simulations with this system, I can do it here. And this looks great for this customer. I could export all this if I'd like. And this is a great tool we're gonna show here. We could download all of this as a DXF file and export it straight to CAD, that's going to go just the same for the single line that we'll see a little down the track. And I can't overstate enough, 3D models like this are going to make your customer smile, they're going to be more engaged in the process. If you're first to the door with something like this, all those other PDFs they get in their inbox, they're not going to pay them any mind. So we're pricing it out now, we can price this out cost per watt as a flat cost or as line items. So if you want to cost this with components and consulting, trenching, you can do all that. And here we're modeling our financial solution. So anything under the sun, cash, lease, loan, PPA, we can model all of that in here. We can fine tune our loan offerings on the fly. We can look at all of our cash flows, annual cash flows, cumulative. I can export these details if I'd like. Total system price, your payback period, everything your customer would want to see when making a decision about how to pay for the system. And then we can drop all this into a sales proposal and look at some of our other outputs. This is an example of one of the bankable Aurora Shade reports. We've got our solar, monthly solar access up there, or radiance. We can adjust all these visuals on the fly. I can do 2D overhead, I can do 3D. 
This window, it's loading right now, but it's gonna bring in that LiDAR data. Your finance partners will be extremely happy when they see the LiDAR data in your shade report. Let's them know we really did a great job. All the images, both in the shade report and your sales proposals, you can edit on the fly. You do have other outputs. You'll have a uh, bill of materials we can export, tremendously helpful on your install day. Uh, and you do have a single line diagram you can export straight to CAD. We're creating a sales proposal now. You get seven sales proposal templates out of the box. You can customize these any way you like. We do have a sales proposal service as well, where we can create a customized template for your company. But you get a ton out of the box. You can edit these any way you want, rebrand them, change fonts, colors, cut pages. You get a Y page out of the box, a great place to state the value of doing business with your company. System summary, again, we can edit all these visuals on the fly, showing all my energy offset, bill offset, first year production, system size. Very easy to edit. We can really edit at the speed of thought, whatever we think is gonna be compelling for our customer. I had a version of the sheet in the past when I was selling residential solar. This is where I would always close. You're showing your customer the difference between buying energy from the grid or going solar with you. We break that out again. Uh, very compelling place to close. We'll compare their finance options here. We'll expand on the cash. We'll expand on the loan on the next slide. And then we're going to break out each year of the loan for your customer. We'll highlight any rebates or incentives that they're qualifying for. Warranty, you could add to that. If you want to add production guarantee, you can. You get a testimonials page out of the box, a great way to keep the ball rolling on referral business. Uh, show their environmental impact, frequently asked questions. And then a next steps page, so your customer knows what's going on. You're not getting a call every two days. They know whether you're you know, waiting for an inspection or install or PTO, um, all out of the box with your you know, standard Aurora sales proposal template. So that essentially wraps up today's residential demonstration. Happy to answer other questions. If anyone would like to spend some time with the team up here, um, let us know what you think, and uh, we're happy to help you get started. Thanks everyone for joining today. Where are you from? Uh, Aurora is based in San Francisco, California. Yeah. And we, I should mention, we have projects in just about every US zip code and every continent on the planet. So we're truly global at this point. And we're doing about 100,000 projects a month designed in Aurora right now. Any other questions I can answer? All right. Thanks, everyone, so much for your time. Have a great rest of the show. And uh, like I said, we're all here on standby ready to help you.